Well, I've seen many people do uh, sort of reviews of different Linux distros on YouTube and online generally. And I thought I'd try my hand at it. And uh, I thought I might start with the one that I actually use. Now, there are some things I'm unhappy about with the one that I actually use, which happens to be Ubuntu Studio. This is it right here. One thing is, is that the Record My Desktop app doesn't seem to want to recognize my USB microphone. And so I'm stuck with my crappy old-fashioned microphone. But anyway, generally, I like Ubuntu Studio. And I have been using it for mm, I, a couple years, really. And, and really, before that, I tried out on a thumb drive uh, an older version of it that I must have liked well enough because I kept going back to it. Now this version happens to be the latest version and it's the one I would recommend. It's not the long-term stable version. It's 15.04 I believe, sort of the testing version. Um, I think 14.04 I believe and someone can correct me if they come across this video in the comments whatever if I'm wrong. It, that would be the long-term stable version, 14.4.04. <clears throat> that one is good, but I think this one corrected some of the problems I might have been having uh, with that one. And I have had different problems over the span of a few years with this. Maybe a year or more. More than a year. Maybe two years. With this. Um, uh, with this distro you know things you might call bugs uh... one of the biggest things that i can remember and i'm going to make this video rather quick and hopefully not too rambling one of the biggest sort of problems i had which really isn't a big problem when you put it in perspective was the software center started acting kind of funny doing sort of having sort of bugs or whatever you want to call it the icons were only generic icons it wouldn't show sort of the icon that belonged to the various apps in the uh, software center uh, and um, so it would only show like a, a cardboard box icon very strange instead of like the picture of the icon like you might if you look for Firefox you might see Firefox and also it wouldn't let you do reviews uh, for some reason and it started to act like it wasn't going to keep working like it wasn't going to even let you. It always did let me download the software, but it started to act like it wasn't going to. I never fixed that. I simply got rid of the software center. <laughs> because, you know, Synaptic really is sort of a better thing uh, anyway. But um, this one really is like Zubuntu, except with uh, many other sort of applications added in. And it's an F. XCE desktop, but unlike Zubuntu, it comes sort of loaded with sort of all the goodies, like the XFCE goodies. For instance, you can see the weather down here. Um, lots of things that you wouldn't be able to put on the toolbar in, in Zubuntu unless you went and got uh, downloaded the um, application, the XFCE goodies from either Synaptic or through the command line or from the software center or what have you come with it. Um, and also, I like XFCE because it's very customizable. Uh, in other words, you can make the XFCE desktop look however you want it to look. Uh, whether it be Zubuntu, whether it be uh, Ubuntu Studio, what have you. Whatever distro is using this desktop. It's it's one of the, the best for being able to um, do what you want with your desktop. Move things around, whatever. Make it how, look however you want it to look. So beyond the desktop, and I think they use this desktop for that reason that I explained, but also because it's very light. It's a lightweight desktop compared to some. And as, as Ubuntu itself is known to be a lightweight distribution. This distribution is not so lightweight, but it has the lightweight desktop. Um, I would think all in all, comparing the two, Zubuntu and Ubuntu Studio, Ubuntu Studio might have more bugs than uh, Zubuntu. It's hard to say. I think so, though. Um, but, as I said, when I upgraded to the testing version, 
things uh, seem to work even more. A lot of the problems with uh, Ubuntu Studio center around uh, this uh, thing they have called Jack. Jack is a way of connecting different audio tools, software, applications, what have you, so you can use them together. How, and, and it's a way of providing sound outside of the Pulse Audio. Problem is it seems that Pulse Audio uh, conflicts with Jack and also it's very complex. It's very hard to, to make Jack work. Like I was having problems with our, our, our door. If you want to, I forget how it's pronounced. I call it our door. That's, that's it right there. Record, mix, and master multi-track audio. Very good. One of the best uh, for that. Um, but I, in earlier editions, I, I couldn't make it work. And I blamed it on Jack. It still uses Jack, but it works uh, uh, pretty well uh, now. And maybe I'll do something where I show just um, our door. Our door 3 especially seems to work pretty well. Things that have always been lacking as well in the uh, in Linux in general, I think. Well, some people have said that audio, visual, uh, you know, this sort of thing, production, has been lacking in Linux. I don't know if that's entirely true these days. I think Ordora is pretty good for your standard. If you play a guitar, if you sing, if you play the keyboards, uh, you know, that's very good. One thing I found lacking myself, though is um, the ability to do synthesizers very easily uh, like you can in, in, in some other programs that you can't get on, on Linux. One of them I found that's very good is LMMS, Linux Multimedia Studio. And that is a very good way, and it works very well. It seems to always work very well of making sort of synthesized music. Only way you can sort of do it. I guess there is a way of hooking your keyboard up through sort of a, a modem type thing or sort of like a, a USB thing directly into, I haven't learned how to do that, directly into LMMS, but mainly you have to use a piano roll to write the notes and this sort of thing. And, and, and that's not my favorite way of doing it, but it works and it works better than anything else I've found uh, on Linux. They do have much you know, there's software applications are uh, abundant in this, and you can see there's audio production, audio processors, MIDI mixers, sound generators, which don't always work. Probably centers on Jack. Probably maybe there's other reasons. I, you know, I've done all the things that have been said to do. Timidity, try timidity to use to uh, provide the sound for many of them. Some of them work. Some of them don't. None of them really work very well, in my ex in my experience. Different uh, utilities, you know, and different uh, applications. Uh, Ardour, uh, Audacity, which is very good. Um, a drum machine, Hydrogen, which I I don't really use, but it seems usable. Um, you could. Uh, I think this is. Uh, way to do ice casts and I haven't tried doing ice I've often thought about doing ice casts but I haven't I haven't done it yet uh, a couple different things for there's there's uh, the digital DJ interface and there's something you can get I know I thought I still had it but I guess I don't called mix uh, very good for doing sort of DJ uh, type um, type things um, but, but the, you know, all these things are very good for audio production. Some of them work better than, than other things. Um, and, and, and in truth, what I have the most experience with is Ardour and Audacity and LMMS, uh, which um, must be somewhere here. Oh, there it is, LMMS. Uh, then you have graphic design, if you're that type of person. Anything from uh, digital painting uh, to... Uh, 2D cartoons to Blender, it's all there. Krita is a very good one. I tend to favor the KDE uh, ones. Photography, Pff, I don't do a lot of photography myself, but there's pretty much I've added some of them. I think I added the raw image converter, but you know m most of that was there. Video production, as I as I spoke of, KDN Live is the uh, is the best, uh, but there's other ones. Publishing, uh, and so on and so forth. 
So if you're one of those type of people that's into sort of the creative arts, uh, musical, you know, video, uh, graphic art, um, and I find all that interesting and fun, and, and I'm myself more musical, but I do other things just for the fun of it too, and, and just because you can. You have this software, and you know about it, and it's there, and it's uh, in one package. You don't have to go out to the, the various, uh, you know, into the software center or what have you and look. So uh, maybe I'll do some others. I have a virtual machine and maybe I'll do some others using virtual machine and talk about other distros. But that's the distro I use. And um, if you're a musician or a person who's inclined towards the various um, artistic, artistic in any way, I think this is a good distro for you. And... Um, I guess that just about sums it up. Thank you.